In section 4.3, problem number three, we solve the differential, look for the solution to the, uh, the differential equation, one over t dy dt equals cosine t over y. Now, the first thing to notice here is that this is a separable equation, which means that we can put all the variables, or all the variables involving t on one side, all the parts involving y on the other side. So, let's rearrange this a little bit, and we'll write, uh, put all the y's on the left-hand side, so now I'll have y dy, and on the right-hand side we'll have t uh, cosine t, and we kind of symbolically multiply by dt, which cancels out on the left-hand side, give us a dt here. Now since we have just an equation in one variable involving dy on the left-hand side, and equation in one variable t uh, involving dt on the right-hand side, we can just uh, take the integral of both sides. On the left-hand side, this gives us one-half y squared. And on the right, uh, probably be easiest to uh, use integration by parts here. So let's say u equal t and du is equal to dt and dv equals cosine t, which means that v is the antiderivative of cosine or negative sine, or excuse me, uh, positive sine of t. So that means that this integral is then u times v, so t sine t minus uh, the integral of v du, so minus the integral of sine of t du, which is just dt. And of course, this is t sine t minus the integral of sine of t, which is minus minus cosine, so plus cosine of t, and plus a constant. Now we can go ahead and just solve for y here. So we have y, or y squared is equal to 2t sine t plus 2 cosine t, and we'll just change our value of the constant there instead of writing 2c. And if we take the square root, this becomes plus or minus square root of 2, 2t sine t plus 2 cosine t plus c is the general solution.